All right, everyone, welcome back to the beautiful world of Prometheus. Today, I've got some plans. I I'm not going to do anything crazy today. Now, I said that last episode, too, and it ended up getting way out of hand. But I mean that today. Last episode, we did an operation. It went crazy. It was fun, but it was crazy. And I wanted to relax a little bit and just enjoy myself out here. And today, I think I'm going to focus on the base. More specifically, I think I'm going to focus on the stairwell leading up to the base. So let's go out there really quick. And I know that seems kind of lame, but right now, all we have is this just kind of basic wooden staircase leading up here. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look very appealing. Our base actually looks pretty cool if we kind of look at it from down here. But obviously, it needs some improvements. So I think we start out with a new stairwell. I'm probably going to have to move it over more because I think I'm eventually gonna expand the base probably out this way. And with the design that I was thinking about for the stairs, I think I need to move it away from the water anyway, because I think I'm gonna have it kind of a, a staircase on either side and in the front as well. And on top of that, I wanna build it out of stone because the wood staircase, number one, it's just not that appealing. And number two, it doesn't do very well in storms. So every single time a storm comes through, I have to repair it and it's just a big pain in the butt. So. I say we at least start with stone. Maybe we go to Scoria. I know there are a bunch of different building types now, especially out here on Prometheus. And I think in the future, we eventually upgrade to those. We'll probably have to go to some different biomes to get the materials for them. But for now, like I said, we'll start with stone. We'll see how it looks, see what uh, kind of design I come up with. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy, but it's going to be better than this. So to start, I probably want to check out and see what materials I do have. So I've got 185 stone. But I need a bunch of wood, a bunch of leather, and a bunch of iron nails. Now, I should have a bunch of nails in here. Yes, we do. We have 290. So let's throw all of those in there. And so now we have a total of 498 nails. That should be more than enough for us. We just need the wood. Do we have any in our carpentry bench? We do not. We have 50, and that's it. So I guess that's step number one is just to get a bunch of wood and then eventually I'm just going to have to tear down these stairs or maybe I just build off to the side. I don't know. So if you noticed all these posts I've had here since I built the base and the reason for that is because I wanted to make sure as I expand that I am able to connect everything properly. So you'll see even though we're not connected to the base with the stairwell here, we should be able to place two pieces just like that and they're all connected. In the past, I've made the mistake of not really having that correct. I just started building in a new area, and then I wasn't able to connect what I wanted to connect. So I thought ahead for once. Uh, it was a small little thing, but I think it's going to kind of pay off. But I suppose... Oh, wait. Hold on. No, I don't need to do a bunch of tree chopping because we have a bunch of wood here. And then, because I was trying to level up, I think, like two or three episodes ago, I have a bunch of piles of stone, some more wood... And then a ton more wood over here and even a little bit more stone. So, well, that makes things easier. So maybe for step one, we just make a bunch of beams to start so we can kind of get the basics laid out. And then from there, we can start converting those beams to stone and build the stone pieces as well. So let's start by grabbing as much wood as we can here. I'm sure we're going to get overweight if we grab all of this. Actually, it might be okay. We have 900 wood on us, and we're not overweight. What are we at? What are we at? We're at 109 out of 175, so yeah, we can actually carry quite a bit. So let's go... I actually don't think we can make the beams in the carpentry bench, can we? No, we can't. We have to craft those on ourselves. Okay, well, I don't think wood is the only thing we need for them. Yeah, we need a bunch of fiber, which I should have a bunch in here. Somewhere, maybe. There we go, we got 400. Let's grab that. How much can we make? We can make 100 max out. I mean, we can make more than that, but let's start with 50. It's quite a bit, but I kind of burned through them, and I guess I could recycle some of these beams, but it's fine. We've got a bunch of extra wood. So let's start. Let's place these beams down here, and then make sure it locks on. And then, oh, we're not going to be able to put a post out here, are we? Oh, maybe. Okay, it does connect to the to the stone here. That's good. Okay, so let me think here. Maybe we just build out. Whoa, no, 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 no. Well, that's probably going to be one of my problems. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Well, 
Maybe we start from the bottom and build up so that we don't slip off the rock edge there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start putting posts down here. And I, I'm just kind of winging it. I, like I said, I've got a general idea of how I want to build this. But I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. All right, so I've got a bunch of the stone roof slash ramps cooking up right now. And I'm going to have to go down and grab some piles of stone from down here because we need a bunch more. I could only make eight, and we're going to need more than that. Actually, well, I don't know. So I don't know if I want to do it maybe just a single ramp wide or maybe two. Probably going to go with two just to make things easier for myself. So let's just grab all the stone here. Yeah, this is where I'm going to get overweight. Oh, yeah, very overweight. And then we'll bring this back up. We'll throw it all in the masonry bench. And we'll cook up a bunch more of the ramps as well as some more beams. And I'm just realizing we probably don't really need all of the wood beams that we just made. I think I just made <laughs> way too many. But like I said, we've got so much wood that it's not really a problem. So let me go up here, craft up a bunch of beams and ramps, and see what I can come up with. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I've got going on right now. So it, it looks a little jakey. I know I'm not finished, but basically I have the stairs starting right here, have a little platform, and then from here it's going straight up to another platform right here that I'm thinking about expanding outwards to the left and right here, and then maybe putting some kind of building up here, or even the uh, the beehive. It's getting dark. It's I've been working all day, but um, yeah, even thinking about putting a little beehive home out here. And I don't know, just kind of filling it in after I get it built. But then it goes right up here. And because the stairs and everything don't line up perfectly, I had to go up one more block of stairs. And then we have the platform up here. Let me turn my lantern on or my torch. And then we have stairs kind of going down that way. So that's what I've got right now. I really want to fill in these corners. But the thing is, in order to do that, I have to use the stone roof corners, which don't look good because they're roof pieces. They're not stairs. Um, I don't know how to make them look good and I'll show you here if I can get this lined up I'll show you how it looks. Let me try it down here really quick Yeah, see when we fill in the corners like this it they, like they're just roof pieces They're the shingles and I don't like that and I don't really know how to make that look good without just Having it bare like this or I guess I could put some of these corner pieces down like That once this disappears you'll be able to see it better but I don't know if I like that so much either, and I don't think I could put it on either side of these stairs. I think I can only put one down. Yeah, I don't... Oh, here we go. So they're backwards right now. I would flip them. I guess that's not bad. Yeah, I guess I could just flip these over so that the inside of the wall isn't showing. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, actually. That looks pretty good. Okay. Well, that kind of solves that problem. So I'd have to do it on both corners here and then up there as well. But it's getting dark. I'm going to go to sleep for the night. I think I'm going to have to do a bunch more mining for stone because I'm pretty much already out. That and um, I might need some iron because we're kind of burning through the iron making nails. I thought we were going to have more than enough. Uh, turns out probably not. But yeah, I, I, like I said, I think I'm going to expand this on either side and then we'll probably put a building there or something on either side. We're going to put some railings up too to make sure that we don't just randomly fall off, which is very likely for me to happen. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to go to sleep for the night and uh, continue working on this in the morning and probably do some mining.
All right, so I was still working on the stairs a little bit and a storm came through and I just wanted to point something out really quick. So I filled up my canteen with rainwater from the trough out here. And this is something new that recently changed is now you can see that my canteen is glowing. And the reason for that is because apparently it contains dirty water. And this rainwater is what it says right here. It says consuming rainwater has a 5% chance to cause dysentery. So we have to figure out how to clean this water. And I'm wondering if we just have to put it over the fire. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that's the easy route. Let's go ahead and try. I don't see it doing anything yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything happen. I wonder, is there some kind of clean water thing in here? Here we go. We've got a basic water purifier. So this is definitely new, though it's locked and I don't have any points to spend. So we're going to have to level up one more time. We're getting pretty close, but we definitely need to level up to unlock some more things. Let me see if there's anything else out here that could help us. Yeah, in tier three, we have the water purifier that requires 10 iron ingots, some epoxy stone and refined wood, which we actually have, but we have to unlock a few things before we get there. So once again, we got to level up some more. So I guess right now we can't boil water over the fire, which I don't know, to me is kind of ridiculous. We've got a metal canteen that should be able to be set next to the fire and then boil and after about a minute or so of it boiling we should have clean water but apparently that is not the case out here on Icarus things work a little bit differently sometimes we have to jump through a hoop or two in order to get what we want but the storm has finished and I just realized we have a different modifier here rainwater consuming rainwater oh yeah okay so that's because I put the canteen into my water slot here so maybe I don't want it in there just yet maybe we go and try and level up I do need to do some more mining for some more stone and I think we could probably level up just on mining alone so let me go ahead and do that I'm gonna drop off whatever I don't need in my inventory and I'm gonna throw it all in storage and then we'll go out and we'll see if we can do a little bit of mining here <laughs> And there we go. We leveled up. We've got three blueprint points to spend. So I'm going to go up here, um, kind of in the safety of my own home, because while I was mining the stone out there, we had two jaguars come up. I had to kill an adult moa and a wolf before they found me and attacked me. But we survived. We're alive. And uh, we got some points to spend. So let's go check that out really quick. Now, I really wanted to unlock the water purifier right here. But looking at it, it looks like we need to unlock several things before that. At least the biofuel composter, probably the biofuel can, and then the biofuel water pump, as well as the water pipe tool, and then the water purifier. So that's more than three points, and three points is all we have. So let's go to the basic water purifier. That's going to be a lot cheaper, but it's probably not going to be as convenient because the other water purifier, I believe we could connect to like the rain reservoir here and then it can just automatically fill it up and then we'll always have purified water whenever we need it. But right now we don't have that option. We're broke and uh, we need to find other ways to go about it. So what do we need here? We need 10 charcoal, some stone, fiber and sticks. Yeah, that is dirt cheap. Uh, let's go in here and I do need to craft up a bandage too because one of the Jaguars actually hit me and hurt me Not very cool of him, but it happened So let's take care of it here. Let's craft that water purifier first And then we need a little bit more fiber in order to craft the bandage And there we go Wait, oh hold on I unlocked 
two things with the basic water purifier. We have the basic water purifier, which is what I thought I just crafted, but then we have the basic rainwater purifier, which is what I actually crafted. Okay, interesting. So we've got a couple options at least, so that's nice. So I'm gonna get a little bit more fiber, and we're gonna craft the basic water purifier. And then I guess we could probably keep this inside, right? Wait, a simple water purifier that can be placed into a body of water to create filtered water. So that has to go into a body of water. Interesting. Or the rainwater purifier, which obviously collects rainwater and purifies it then. So let's go ahead. I guess we can put it out here. It does not look like it can hold very much. I wish we could just kind of put it on top of the rain reservoir here. And then it can just kind of filter inside of the rain reservoir. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So let's just put it right next to this, I guess. And there we go. And uh, yeah, now we just have to wait for some rain. Let's check this thing out though, it looks kind of cool. So we got what looks like almost like a stump underneath where it collects all the water. Got the sticks all the way around forming the frame and it looks like some stone on top, interesting. I don't know what the stone's gonna do to purify it, but we did need charcoal for this so the charcoal is gonna help purify that as well. But anyway, let's go ahead, let's grab the basic water purifier. This thing is tiny, it looks like a little drone. And let's go down here and ignore the janky, ugly staircase that I've got built right now. And then I guess it just floats. Let's put it over here. Right there. And there we go. Is it floating or are the sticks going down to the stone? Oh, they do go all the way down to the stone. Okay. Huh, well that's pretty neat. Let's go back up here. We can access it. And so it requires fuel. Oh, we need to throw charcoal in there. And I guess we could just drink straight from it. And it shows that it is filling up there. It's got about 0.2 liters right now. So we'll let that go. And I'm wondering, do we need to put charcoal in this purifier as well? Even though we use charcoal to craft it. Let's access this. Yeah, it does need charcoal. Okay. Let's go ahead. Oops. Don't close the door on myself. We'll grab some more out of here. Just grab half of that stack, 248. And we are over encumbered because I have a bunch of stone on me still. But let's go ahead and throw the charcoal in here. And I'm guessing it should start doing its thing once it starts raining. But I don't know how to purify the water that we have in our canteen. Well, hold on. Let me use my bandage that I made. Uh, consume that. Um, I gotta figure that out somehow. I guess I can take the chance. There's, I mean, there's a 5% chance that I'm gonna get sick from drinking my rainwater. And I don't really want to do that. I was hoping one of these two purifiers would be able to solve that problem. Well, I'm gonna consume it. Let's go ahead and empty this container. Let's go down to here. And I guess we're gonna have to fill it up from here every time if we want clean water. It's got two liters in it right now. So we can access it. Can we fill our canteen anyway? It doesn't look like it. Let's put our canteen in our hands and press the fill container. There we go. So that filled about halfway. So at least it's clean, but it's still glowing. I thought the glowing indicated that it was dirty water, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it says it contains filtered water. And then it provides the filter water modifier for 300 seconds. So right now, because we drink the rainwater, we have that modifier, a 5% chance to get dysentery for the next 250 seconds. What if we drink the filtered water? Nothing. I guess we probably have to wait for the rainwater modifier to dissipate, and then we can try the filtered water. Let's try that. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and let's go up to the masonry bench and we'll make some more. What do we need more of? Probably gonna need some walls. And probably, I think we're good on beams for a while. But walls, oh no, okay. Yeah, this is actually the third time that I've fallen. Um, <laughs> you know what, I wonder if we make some kind of platform that runs along the edge here. So just in case I do fall uh, in the future, I'll actually be able to be caught by the flooring that we put up there. I'll think about that, but I don't know. It, it seems like it might make it kind of ugly unless I just had an idea. I'm thinking about putting ramps, but instead of it facing this way, they would face out away from the cliffside. 
um, and might make it look a little bit prettier. Yeah, let's um, let's try that. How many ramps do I have on me? Zero. I put everything away. So let's see what we've got here in the masonry bench. I don't think we have any ramps left, do we? No. So we're going to have to craft up a few more. How many can we craft? 14. Let's just go ahead and craft 14. And then we're actually going to need some more iron nails. We've got 60 in here. How many do we have? Nothing in there. Let's grab... Well, let's grab another 20. We'll make some nails out of it. That'll make 200. And again, we might have to go mine for some iron. We're just going to run with it right now. See what we can make with what we've got. And we'll make some more flooring here. Make 10. We'll throw all the stone in there. Alright, so this is what I'm thinking. is I build some flooring along here. I kind of wanted it a little bit lower. But, I don't know. We'll see here. Now, can we kind of reverse these ramps to go inside? We can. Hold on. Let's see here. We can do the roof, stairs, or regular ramp. What does the regular ramp look like? Something like that? I don't know. Does that look ridiculous? I mean, it looks kind of nice from up here with the floor going out of the cliffside. But I don't know if I love that. Let me take these out really quick. And then I'm going to try putting some angled beams coming out from the cliffside as well and see how that looks. So can we do this? Um, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let me try putting the floors down first. Then we can try the beams here. Come on. Yeah, I don't... Oh, hold on. Nope, that's not how I wanted to do that. No, I don't think that's going to work. So now what I'm thinking instead, so let me grab that last one, is there are some uh, foundation platforms. That's what I was thinking of. These stone frames. Oh, shoot, we need more iron nails. Let's go ahead and grab all of them from the anvil. Throw them in here. How many can we make? Four. Let's just make all four. Might as well. Uh, we're going to need more stone, but I do have some stone piles out in the uh, next to the river down there. So we'll grab those if we need it, which we will, because I'm wasting all my resources just testing. But this should craft up here in about five seconds. And this stone frame, we can actually make uh, kind of angled. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So let's go back down there. Pull out the frame. So this is the default. It just looks like this. But I don't want that. This is what I want right here, the half frame. And then we can angle it out. Oops, I had it. There we go. Something like this. If I can get it right. There we go. Um, let's see here. Did that do it right? No, it didn't. It's going to be tricky and quite dangerous out here. But I do like the look of these better. And I'm wondering... Should we use Scoria instead? That might go with the cliffside a little bit better. Now, I, I was thinking with the stairs, we're going to change that at some point. Probably maybe concrete or something, or maybe a different uh, type. Because there are... Hold on, let me actually do some more testing. We've got the clay brick ramp. I'm going to grab those. Oh, shoot, we're overweight. Let's put some of these away. Let's put the stone ramps away. I want to see how these look. I'm going to take out my wood hammer here. Got scoria brick, clay brick. That's what I want. What do these look like here? Okay, that looks so much cleaner. Whoa! <laughs> okay. At least I didn't fall off the cliffside this time. Um, yeah, it looks cleaner. Obviously, it doesn't look good with all the stone stairs and everything. The stone stairs are very rugged. Um, not very clean, but I really like the clay brick ramps. We have four more, which could fill this out, but it, it's still not going to look right with all the other stone pieces. I don't know. I'm conflicted. Let's just finish these out here. We'll leave those for now. And, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to need some more clay brick. I think we've got some clay somewhere in storage. We've got 46. That's not very much. And I also never unlocked any clay building pieces. Where's that at? Is that tier 3 or 4? Let's see here. Glass, aluminum, 
or aluminium. Oh, here we go. A uh, clay brick building set. I've got one more point to spend. Let's just see how much it costs for clay. Now, hold on. I'm not seeing it in the masonry bench. Do we not craft it in the masonry bench? Oh, we need the advanced masonry bench. Shoot. I highly doubt that I have that. Oh, no, wait. I do. I had to unlock it in order to unlock the scoria and clay. Um, do we just craft that really quick? We're gonna need some more iron nails, but I think we have everything else, like the epoxy stone and refined wood. You know what? I think we do do that. And while I'm on that topic, something that changed recently out here on Icarus are the crafting benches. So essentially, they've all been condensed. So every time you upgrade, like, for example, the masonry bench, there's the masonry and then there's the advanced masonry bench. And in the past, you could only craft certain items in either one. Now, when you upgrade from the masonry bench up to the advanced one, you can craft everything that the advanced one obviously can, but then you can also craft everything that was in the regular masonry bench here. Now, that seems like it should have been something that was here in the beginning, but I honestly didn't mind that that much because it allowed us to kind of expand our base, really fill it out with other crafting benches. But now, since we don't have that much space out here in this current base, it makes sense to just get rid of this masonry bench, put the advanced one down, and then we can craft everything in the advanced one that we could in the regular one as well. So let me go ahead. Let's grab all the stone that we need. I don't have much. I've got 23. Um, I'm going to have to put some stuff in storage because we're going to be overweight. And then we'll just head down here. And that's another thing that I think I might try and make this episode if I've got the time and resources. is just some small bridges to get across these little streams. Because they're a pain in the butt. Especially just going from here to here. A lot of times I don't make the jump and it's a pain in the butt. And then on top of that, over there by the waterfall, we have to get across that lake several times in order to get to the next biome on the other side of this cliff over here. And um, it's a pain swimming because we swim unbelievably slow. Especially when we're riding our bird which uh, I don't know how he hasn't died. His name is literally another one bites the dust because I was expecting him to die. But either way, I've got a bunch of stone. I need to eat. I don't have any food in me. So let's go ahead and fill up there. Um, I don't have any regular raw meat cooked up or regular meat cooked up. So let's go ahead and start cooking some up there. And then uh, we need some epoxy. I don't remember how much we need, but we've got 21. We need some refined wood. Grab 73 from there. And then what else do we need? Some iron nails, 80 and 150 stone, which we have. And then we'll start cooking up a little bit more iron ore. We've got 25 currently in here and we do have some leftover in storage. But for now, let's take the cooked iron, throw it in here, make some more nails. This will make 200, we only need 80. And then I think we should have everything we need to make the advanced masonry bench. There we go, we've got our 80 nails. And where do we craft that at? The machining bench. Okay, let's go over here, and there we are, the advanced masonry bench. It'll only take four seconds, and boom, we've got it. So let's throw that down here. I'm going to have to pick up this one, take everything out of there. Uh, <laughs> let's throw a little bit more in our storage because we had so much in there. Throw all those in there. Don't want to throw the refined wood. My storage is still a complete mess. Again, we're going to have to revamp the entire base at some point. We're kind of doing that this episode, but also kind of not. I'm mainly focusing on the stairs outside. I know that's super exciting, but honestly, it is to me. It's fun. But anyway, let's go ahead and pick up this masonry bench. And um, I really do hope you guys enjoy this type of stuff. Just kind of the general maintenance of surviving out here. I know it's not me going out hunting, gathering food, things like that. But it's still part of surviving. It's still something that's necessary out here in order to survive and now that is much more advanced than the last masonry bench that we had now it says water is optional so we shouldn't need water but now we should be able to make the clay building pieces yes we can uh oh shoot i only have just raw clay we need clay brick how in the world do we make clay brick so i'm not seeing anything obvious in the tech tree I'm wondering if we take the clay that we had, is that, where did I put that? Is that on me? Okay, I've got it on me. It says it's a moldable fine grain material that can be baked into bricks. So, where do we bake it at? Maybe out here in the forge? Uh, no, I don't see any recipes for it. So if I throw it in here, I don't think we use that. 
Um, what about in the concrete furnace? Look at that right there, the clay brick. But I think we need water for it. Let's throw it in here. Let's put it in front of the gold and see if it starts cooking that. No, it doesn't. It goes straight to the copper that was right after that. So, I need water. Let's craft up a water pipe tool. I don't know where I do that. Is that just on me? Let's search for that. No. Wait, do I even have it unlocked? I don't think I do. Shoot. I might need to level up some more. I keep getting way ahead of myself here. Shoot. Yeah, that's right. It's after the biofuel water pump. Well, let's unlock the composter, and then we need a couple more points to get to the water pipe tool. Well, let's spend the uh, couple of talent points that we have. We've got one for solo. Um, we can add a food buff, 10% food effects duration. We can decrease the stamina cost for fire whacker use and faster repair time with hammers. We can increase the XP, that might be good, but I also, since I am kind of focusing on spears, I say we unlock the, the stick of destiny, I guess. Plus 10% damage with spears, plus 10% damage with thrown spears as well. Now we've got two points in the talents over here. So let's throw a point into spear parry, which I think is what we spent one on last time. This gives us plus 20% melee resistance with a spear equipped. So when we're doing hand-to-hand -hand combat with a spear, we're going to take a little bit less damage. And then this is one of my favorites right here is the peerless lumberjack. There's a 1% chance to instantly fell trees. I like that one and I like the lucky strike where there's the 1% chance to instantly break a mineral or ore deposits while mining. Uh, it just makes things a little bit better or a little bit faster, I should say, when you get that 1% chance because it destroys the whole thing and you get all the resources. But it's dark out. I got distracted from the staircase that I was building with about a hundred other things. My torch just went out, so I'm gonna go to sleep for the night. So let's start up this fire. Never mind, there's no wood in there. Let's throw some wood. And uh, let's go back into our bedroom <laughs> on the other side of this invisible wall and uh, let's go to sleep for the night. All right, good morning. It's absolutely beautiful and uh, foggy, as it always is. But I'm thinking that because I love these clay stairs so much, that we go and figure out how to get some more clay. Now, I'm pretty sure we can get clay from the swamps. I really don't like the swamps, but I'm wondering if we can get it from this area over here, which I think is even more dangerous than the swamps, um, which might be a horrible idea. But we haven't really been over there. So I kind of want to go check it out. Um, we might have been over there at one point. I mean, it shows that it's been explored on the map. Uh, I probably died over there at some point. But what I need to do right now is offload everything that I can that I don't need. And um, we're going to go explore it. We're going to try and get as much clay as we can. And um, try not to die in the process. All right, here we are. We basically just got in here. The entrance to the swamp is right pretty much on the other side of this rock. And we've got some clay deposits right here. So let's go ahead and start destroying some. We'll keep searching for some more. I'm going to try and completely max out on it. But this thing, this iron sledgehammer, takes up so much stamina, so it's going to take a little while. Uh, is there anything that I can eat to make sure I've got some more stamina? Does this tomato give us anything? No, just some max health. Well, might as well consume that. But I'm going to keep working at this, see how much I can get, and we're going to get the heck out of here. Alright, so I'm getting the heck out of here. Uh, there's a bunch of clay nodes all around here, but it's starting to get a little bit too dangerous. A bunch of Drax keep showing up, Komodo show up after I kill them, and uh, I just passed a Needler a second ago. Is that what it's called? Well, there's a Strider right there. A Strider tried attacking me, and a Dreadwing is swooping down trying to kill me and my animal as well. So yeah, I think that's kind of a sign to get the heck out of here. Uh, I built the ramp, here it is. Kind of destroyed by the storm, 
but I think it's salvageable. So let's go ahead, fix this thing up, and then we're gonna get the heck out of here. And um, I got quite a bit of clay. I'll check it out once I get out of the swamp here. I filled up Big Bird here with, I think, 200 clay. And then I've got a bunch on me as well. We're getting close to our max amount of weight and inventory space. But part of that is also because I was killing a bunch of animals, taking their meat and their bones, stuff like that. There's a Dreadwing right there. But we should be a lot safer than we were just in the swamp. But yeah, we were not very deep into the swamp there. We just pretty much got into the entrance and there was clay nodes all over the place. But if I check out my inventory, sort it really quick, we have one, two, three hundred and forty seven clay in our inventory and then another two hundred in the inventory of our bird here. So quite a bit. I don't know if it's going to be everything that we need. I actually highly doubt that. But either way, I want to get home and then we can see what we can craft up with it and see how nice of a staircase we can build, I guess. Uh, it's kind of weird, but I'm kind of excited. Okay, so we made it back, but obviously there's a storm right now. And so I need to get through this little stream, and luckily it wasn't too difficult that time. And I don't have to worry about our staircase taking any damage, or at least not for a while. So for now, let's jump off this guy. Let's throw, I guess, the two tomatoes that we have into his trough. He can eat that. And let's get inside. Okay, we're safe. Um, I think it's a lightning storm, so I'm glad we're not outside anymore. But, um, yeah, we're doing a little bit better. That's right, this is all wood. I should probably upgrade this to stone. Um, how much do I have left of stone? That's scoria. Well, let's go ahead and take the scoria. Got two out of there. And then we've got ten more stone for it. Yeah, let's just use stone for this. Let's go ahead, switch that to stone. Upgrade. Fix. Upgrade fix Probably should have done this before but this is all gonna be replaced at some point All right, everything's fixed up and upgraded. Let's go ahead and grab the clay from this guy and let's head inside here for now we're just gonna have to throw all of the clay in here because we can't make clay bricks just yet which is unfortunate but now we've got a huge amount well what well, looks like a huge amount when we do want to make those clay bricks so all I'm gonna do right now is just kind of wait out the storm it shouldn't be too much longer I'm gonna repair whatever I need which shouldn't be too much there's only these two pieces of wood on either side there then there's the wood roof piece right there that only sometimes ends up breaking. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna wait this out. We'll probably end up sleeping through the night. It's getting a little bit late. And um, then in the morning, I think I'm gonna just try and level up one more time and hopefully that's all it takes in order to get enough points in order to unlock the water pipe tool. And then we can hook up the water to the furnace. Then we can make some clay bricks. And then from there, we can make some clay brick pieces, some building pieces. And then hopefully kind of finish off the stairs today. I don't think we're going to. We're just going to have the basics down. Something that just is usable and that works for us for the time being. And we'll kind of expand on it as we continue forward in the future. And there we go, we finally leveled up. I spent the whole day pretty much hunting, did a little bit of chopping of wood and some mining, but the hunting was what did it for me. I ended up coming out into the winter biome over here, which I guess is called the rolling tundra. And uh, that's where I found most of the animals. A lot of wolves, a lot of uh, big cats, but what I really wanna focus on right now is unlocking the water pipe tool. We had four points to spend, I just spent three. Do I? put the fourth one into the water purifier or do I go ahead and unlock the buckshot shell? I think we do that instead because we're out of ammo with our shotgun. I, th I think we only have what seven shots left. Yeah. So not much ammo left there. I wanted to unlock it before, but um, this is actually going to pay off. I think there's a big cat over there, but I'm not worried about him anymore because I don't need the points. Well, at least not right now. So I'm going to run back to the base. We're going to connect up the water to the furnace and we're going to start crafting some clay. All right. Now for the water pipe tool, we need some copper wire and some gold wire. And then we also need to offload our inventory because we have so much meat, bones, leather, all the stuff on us from killing a bunch of animals. 
So let's grab whatever we can out of the fire, throw that in there. We'll offload a bunch of leather and bone in here. And in here, whatever I can. Anything else I can throw in? Let's throw all the leather in there. And then I think we're pretty good. Let's throw the frozen ore in here. And then we should be all right. So we need some copper and some gold, which we have plenty of because we haven't really messed with that stuff at all so far. So let's go ahead and max out our copper, max out our gold wire. We'll let that craft up. And then was that all we needed? No, we need platinum sheath. Shoot, how do we make the platinum sheath again? Oh no. We have to unlock the platinum sheath. And we spent all of our points. I should have saved that last one. No. Oh, I didn't realize we were going to need that. Okay. Well, looks like we're not going to be crafting up any clay brick or anything like that this episode. So let me just throw some wood in there, I guess. And then what else do we have left for the stone? Let's just grab it all and see what we can put together. Um, I do want to craft up some more stone foundation pieces, I think. Whoa, let's jump over that fire and not catch on fire. Um, what do we need for that? We need some more nails and some more wood. Nothing in there. Got two iron ingot. Oh, no. We're getting pretty low. Twelve more in here. And that's about it. We got... Oh, we got a bunch of nails right here. So let's throw the iron back in here. Throw all of the nails in here. And then let's go and grab some wood really quick. Should be some in here. I think I just offloaded a stack. Yes, 100. So let's go back over here. And then we should be able to craft up a few more. I don't know how many we're going to need. How many can we craft? Eight. Let's just craft all eight. Screw it. All right, there we go. Now we have a total of 10 stone frames. So let's go back out here. Hold on, I actually do still have some extra stuff that I don't need, but... It's not going to make a difference in terms of our weight because it was just leather and fiber. But, what do we got here? I don't know which way this is facing. We're just going to guess. This one, I think, is facing wrong. This is such a pain. I don't know how to rotate it. We could go left and right. But I need the flat piece to be up against or technically inside of the stone here. Oh, yeah, that piece wasn't even done right. Okay. Let's try and pick that up. Can we pick it up? There we go. Okay, I kind of figured out a trick. I have to have a stone floor on the outside, and then I can kind of place the frame in the right spot. So if we do that, and then try and do it from here. I don't have a great angle to see. Is that right? Did I do that right? Let me see here. It looks like I did. Oh, uh, shoot. I don't think I did. Hold on. Let's go down here and check. Shoot, no. Okay, well, I might say screw it to this little venture. We've got enough down right now. Um, I technically should put some flooring right here on these so that it looks decent. But then I'm going to finish out some flooring on the stairs here. And, and I think we'll just wrap it up from there. Oh, and then really quick, I did see that we do have the filtered water buff or, I guess, modifier here. But it doesn't really show that it does anything for me. It just says that I have it. it just says water that has been filtered through charcoal. I was hoping we get some kind of buff for it, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. At least we have clean water to drink. But, like I said, I was going to build out over here, and then I was going to build some railings, but I don't know if I even have railings. I think I have, like, yeah, just the wood railings and probably thatch railings as well. I don't think I'm going to put them up because I don't think they're going to look very good on this stone. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Does it really matter because we got this weird stone with the clay brick? It, none of it really looks good. Just hang in there with me. It, this isn't going to be its final form. This is a work in progress. This is under construction, so nothing really looks good under construction, right? Can you, can you help me justify this a little bit here? Uh, <laughs> now, just experimenting a little bit, I put a couple of these half floor slash ramp pieces here, and I don't hate that look. I don't know if I love it, but I don't hate it. I might make a couple more, remove this. Oh, that's going to throw things off on this side, isn't it? Well, yeah, let me let me test it out, and let's, let's see what it looks like. All right, I made a couple more, so let's take this out. 
We'll switch it to these ramps here. One right there and one right there. It kind of phases through the rock. Don't love that, but I kind of dig this look. And then maybe put railings on either side. I'm not certain yet. Or maybe we just... Wait, hold on. Would it look better if I just did a full ramp on either side? Oh, I just lost a ramp. I just placed it inside of the stone. Um... No, I don't know. I like those half pieces better, I think. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here for now. <laughs> this looks so funky. I'm going to have to put more flat half pieces right here, and then I can put the stairs down right next to them. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, I need to do some more thinking on these stairs. I thought I had an idea. The idea kind of fell apart. I got distracted a million times and then we thought we could build things that we couldn't. And, um, yeah, well, welcome, welcome to my videos guys, but I'm going to call it here. Chaotic day for sure. Didn't get a whole lot done, but we did learn a lot. And it was fun kind of messing with the new building materials, which I haven't really done yet. All I did in the past was steal some scoria walls and roofs from other bases that someone else built and put them on my own. And that's really what I did with the clay brick too. But it gave me a better idea of what these things actually look like when I place them down. And I really like the look of some of these things. So I'm excited to keep going in the future. I clearly got ahead of myself. I need to level up a lot more unlock a lot more things in order to craft more, build more, and ultimately expand out more. So this was ultimately, like I said, a really good learning experience. I'm new out here on Prometheus still, so I really did enjoy that part of it. And I really hope you guys did too. Like I said, I know it was chaotic. I know it was, I was absolutely all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Later. Later.